And what you want to do is when you turn on the power button, you're going to tap F11. You can either uh, tap it when you see that when you as soon as it turns on, you see light, or you can just hold it down. And of course, that's the F11 button right here. All right, so let's go ahead and start. Go ahead and turn her on. So start tapping. It'll say System Recovery F11. You'll see Windows is loading files, and then you'll see the bar go across. And if it doesn't work the first time, turn it off and try it again. You know, try it four or five times. If for whatever reason you you try it and it doesn't work four or five times, um, either the the operating system, your Windows 7 or your Windows 8, is not on your partition. And this is what a hard drive looks like, by the way. And that's what the one in your HP 2000 will look like. And what they do is they start putting the operating system on the hard drive itself instead of giving you a, a physical disk. Uh, the reason Windows required that of all the laptop manufacturers is because people were pirating and put it on different computers. So they went ahead and started putting it on the hard drive. And this usually takes about 30 minutes to do. We won't, of course, sit through the whole thing, but I'll show you like the initial the initial procedure. And your HP 2000 might not look exactly like this. It might be a different color. It might be blue, red. Um, it might have a different keyboard design, but it'll still work with it. All right, so Recovery Manager. Welcome to HP Recovery Manager. Use this tool to get your computer back and up and running if it ever stops working as usual. So yeah, you'd use this, let's say if you got a Trojan horse, you know those little errors that you get where it says, oh, this is the FBI warning, you downloaded this, and uh, you have to pay in order to get it off. What that is, it's basically these guys in a cubicle in the Caribbean or, or in Nigeria, and they work for a company, and that's all they do all day long is trying to scam people. Uh, the program will go on to the computer. It, you know, you might have downloaded something, a movie, or or something online on Facebook, and it got into your computer. You accepted it for whatever reason, and then um, it's basically a program. Um, so if that happens, you could try to do a system restore under safe mode. That's a different story. But um, this one here, this is I'm basically just just going to do a full factory. And that'll take it off. Now, if you're just doing it in order to to um, make it fresh again, that'll work. If you're going to just give it to a friend or family member or resell it, uh, this will work because it's going to be clean to factory, just like it came out of the box. Now, keep in mind though, when you do that, it will erase all photos, all videos, so all that will be gone. So I would recommend if you want to keep that stuff, of course, to download it and put it on a DVD or a thumb drive now. And you can get those thumb drives. You can get them as little as uh, ten bucks at a at a drugstore. You know they're USB. They look like that. And you basically go to my computer and you drag all your stuff into this. All right. So let's go ahead and do a full factory. I need immediate help. Um, it'll be a, the one that you're going to choose is going to be on your left side. It's going to be system recovery. Restore your computer to its original factory condition. So let's go ahead.